well, we, it's the Prestige Spreads. So it's a, it's a twist because it's, you know, we've been exploring the spreads in the, you know, in the summertime as we've been talking through, you know, we've been doing a talk on naturalness around the world. Um, and we've been exploring kind of natural ingredients, how to, to look to nature to find some really wonderful flavors to be able to pull out in our cocktails. Um, and one thing that's been really interesting is, is traveling to new places and, and finding um, some of those herbs and spices that you can use from the locale. So kind of being in Hong Kong, it was looking to some of the fruits and one of the ones that really came up and we, we were tasting before was, was the dragon fruit. I'm picking out a couple of other notes around it, but it's a, it's a rip, really simple twist on a spritz that has some of these, these kind of notes and things that I picked up from, from being here for a bit of a short time. So I'm gonna start with some absinthe. So this is um, a little bit of a twist that I've kind of added to the spritz um, and it's an ingredient I love adding to cocktails. So a lot of, um, when I'm making cocktails at home for friends and family, I'll add, often add just a little dash of absinthe. But what I love about using it in kind of particularly, you know, aromatic style cocktails is how it lifts everything. We're adding just a couple of spritzes into the glass. So just taking some of these kind of very pretty slices of the dragon fruit. Gonna lay these around the inside of the glass. And I'm gonna use some Martini Rosso alongside it. So a richer style vermouth. It's got a, a bit of sweetness, but it's also got this lovely kind of, uh, it's almost quite a green herb style spice to it. So a bit of oregano, a bit of thyme, uh, a bit more of those kind of food led spices. So it gives a nice richness. So you get a lot of kind of citrusy notes from the dragon fruit, and this kind of balances with a bit of a spice. We're gonna use an equal part of our Belvedere vodka. So rye based, a really nice spice to it. So it's not a blank vodka. This is not using it as a blank slate. What I want to use is, is the character of the spirit to ride through with this. So I want there to be that nice aromatic, that real kind of, that rye spice. There's a reason why it's kind of like a, a rye based vodka. It's there for a reason. It's there to add a flavor to the drink. So as you drink through it, it's got this really nice, this, this kind of Brazil nut spice that kind of comes through. So it, it balances really well against these different aromatics we're starting to get in the drink. And then I want to start to have a little bit of a contrast. So use a little touch more of our beautiful dragon fruit. Then I'm going to use some, some fresh mint on the top. And I'm not going to add this within the cocktail. I want this as just the aromatic. So it's partly an association we have. So mint is, it's a freshness, but it's also a really cooling style herb. So you have something that's got a spice on the base. You've got this richness of the Belvedere and this creaminess and this spice from the, um, from the Martini Rosso. Um, and then just balance as a really gentle spirit, so a little bit of bitterness from the tonic. And just to cut through that sweetness and give the length back, a little touch of soda. So all we're gonna do is gonna take a couple of nice sprigs of the mint. I really wanna get a good aromatic to the, to the top of this. So a good bunch of mint. And just gently Spank to release some of those notes from the top and just placed right alongside. So as you go to stir it or to take a sip, you get this huge waft of the mint on the top, but it won't have any of that kind of greenness in the actual drink. It's a bit of a citrusy note that comes through from the dragon fruit. You've got a little hint of the absinthe that just lifts everything up. Uh, and then the spice of the Belvedere and the spice of the Rosso in the background. 